Good day, everyone. Today, we'll continue in our devotional series, Missions Ministries. Now, in our sixth lesson on outreach into specific places and communities. Before we get started, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day you given to us. Another session, Lord, our devotional series on mission ministries. But that continue to anoint me, Lord, as I share your word. Prepare the hearts of the people, to those who are watching this video. Lord, open up their heart and understanding that will understand our lesson today. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We recognize you are the ultimate teacher. Continue to teach us all truth today. Convict us, inspire us, and guide us through this lesson that we may know more the plans and purposes of God for the church. Lord, we thank you. We commit you to the rest of our time today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. In our sixth lesson today on outreach into specific places and communities. Still, our theme verse for this devotional series and mission ministries is taken from Matthew 24, verse 14, as saying, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, then the end will come. As a review, we learned that in the missions ministries, there's a need that need in the mobilization of team leadership. Intentional training, corporate training, sensitivity in the Holy Spirit, serve in obeying the great commandment, intention in finishing the great commission. And today, in our sixth lesson, on outreach into specific places and communities as written in Luke chapter 4 verse 42 to 43 as saying at daybreak Jesus went out to a solitary places place the people were looking for him and when they came to where he was they tried to keep him from leaving them but he said I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to other towns also because that is what that's why I was sent first Scheduled preaching and teaching, as written in Acts chapter 19, verse 8 to 9, as saying, Paul entered the synagogue, spoke boldly there for three months, arguing possessively about the kingdom of God. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way. So Paul left them, took the disciples with him, and had discussions daily in the lecture of Tyrannus. Taken. Intentional, regular preaching and teaching, as written in Acts 5, 41 to 42, as saying, The apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. Day after day in the temple courts and from house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. Third, divine appointment in preaching and teaching. As written in Acts 16, verse 9 to 10, as saying, During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, he got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, and glory that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Also, as written in Acts 17, 26, 27, as saying, From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. He marked out their appointed time in history and the boundaries of the lands. God did this so that they would seek him, perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. Let us take note. In today's devotional lesson, I continue to review and watch this video. Allow the Holy Spirit to teach us new spiritual insights as we 
meditate on the scriptures on outreach to specific places and to music. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your divine appointments and outreach to specific places and communities. Empower us, Holy Spirit, as we live, preach the gospel, and make disciples to all peoples in scheduled, intentional, regular preaching and divine appointment of God in outreach to specific places and communities. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Have a blessed day. Keep safe in Jesus and continue to be guided by the Holy Spirit to do outreach and outreach king in specific places and like communities. Till next time, have a good day. To God be the glory.